and I have the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Michael Wald, who has been nicknamed the blood detective, for his keen ability to zero in on health problems and find natural solutions. Dr. Wald also has several degrees and certifications, including board certifications in nutrition. And Dr. Wald, we have some questions that people have sent us through email on sure. today's topic of vitamin D. Okay. So Susan has a low blood level of vitamin D. She would like to know if this deficiency can be the cause of her brain fog, memory problems, problems and fatigue. Mm. This is one of my favorite topics, the whole vitamin D. There's a lot of uh, confusion around it, so let me just let you know what the straight dope about vitamin D is. All First right. of all, whenever we talk about vitamin D, we're talking about vitamin D3. Mm -hmm. So there's a blood test of vitamin D3 called 25-OH-D3, and that's the test people want because a higher normal value of vitamin D3 on that blood test is associated with a lower risk of dying of absolutely anything. And there were there was a study uh, conducted of all of the or, or the good studies ever done on vitamin D together as a whole to tease out what they mean because mm -hmm. some studies have differences of uh, of conclusions and opinions and that's called a meta analysis and it it proved what I just said so uh, and on the contrary the lower ones level of vitamin D the higher ones overall morbidity, mortality, risk. So this is a huge issue, which is why vitamin D is now recognized as a major player in health and disease in virtually all aspects of healthcare. That doesn't mean, though, that most doctors know what to do with a low level of vitamin D. Um, real quick, because this is important to make this point, a low level of vitamin D on blood means that a person, uh, that we're talking clinically low, needs between 50,000 and 100,000 units, or IUs, that's the unit of vitamin D, per mm -hmm. week for about a month and then rechecking a vitamin D. So depending on the weight of the person, the health circumstance of the person, we may give them 50,000 units a week, we might give them 75, we might give them 100,000. Now, some of you are not understanding what you're hearing because you're taking maybe a vitamin D at 400 units or maybe mm -hmm. even 1,000 or 2,000 or 5,000. But I'm telling you, and I didn't make this up, that the levels, if you're clinically low, need to be much, much higher than that. And not to worry, because when in the hands of an experienced nutritional, uh, clinical nutritionist like myself, we check the vitamin D levels at the end of the, uh, of the month after you, you supplement with 50,000 units or more, and then you make sure that you're not getting into toxicity issues. It's much more of an issue. Uh, people ask, me, well, what about toxicity? I'll say, well, look, it's much more of an issue that if you're deficient because of what I said about low levels. Mm -hmm. And of course, we don't want toxicity. Uh, so we, we monitor people, and uh, I've personally never seen that. So I know it's very rare relative to people's concerns about it. So Susan wants to know specifically if her vitamin D could be the cause of her, her, her memory and brain fog problems. Low vitamin D is associated with memory issues, including Alzheimer's even Alzheimer's dementia. So mm. absolutely could be from memory problems, and brain fog is kind of a polite term for my memory is not what it used to be. But that could be from lots of issues. Mm -hmm. So the only way to really know is if you take vitamin D and you feel better. Now, if that doesn't work, if you take vitamin D based on what your blood levels are for long enough and you know you've really done it correctly and you still don't feel better, then I would look for other causes. Mm -hmm. But once you fix the level, uh, and again, just because you take the vitamin D doesn't mean it's just going to go up, by the way. This could take several months to fix and sometimes many, much longer than that. So it's important to be monitored to do it right and, and safely. But uh, yes, low vitamin D is associated with, with brain fog problems. If after you try to fix it with vitamin D, if your brain fog problems are still there, then uh, Susan, there, there's another cause. And in terms of fatigue, well, that's... That's a slam dunk for low vitamin D. One of the earliest recognized symptoms of, of low vitamin D or suboptimal, meaning it might be normal, but it might not be in the optimal range. So the range of vitamin D on a blood test is anywhere from about 30 to 100 units. Mm -hmm. And 75 is the magic number. Not just 30, 33, 35, 45, because a lot of you will go to your doctors and say your vitamin D is fine, but it's not optimal. The meta-analysis said 75 is the magic number, but low vitamin D is associated with much higher incidence of fatigue for a lot of reasons. There's tons more about vitamin D on the website, which people can uh, discover at www.intmedny.com. Very important uh, nutrient not to overlook. Now, don't we get vitamin D from the sun? Mm -hmm. Well, we used to. 
but with the advent of all the sunscreen, we don't take those UV rays and convert them in the skin from cholesterol to vitamin D nearly as effectively. The only reason why most of us even know about vitamin D these days was from a large study done on Floridians, people living in Florida. They got plenty of sunlight mm -hmm. and practically all of them were deficient. And we have ozone depletion, which also impacts the types of rays that we need landing on our skin to make vitamin D. So it's not worthwhile to spend tons of time in the sun to try to fix low vitamin D, particularly if it's clinically low. Mm -hmm. you, you'll you get skin. You, you might get skin cancer as a, as a side effect. So um, we know that the sun is just not a reliable way. As far as foods, yes, uh, fatty foods like fish are high in vitamin D. And on our website, we have many more uh, uh, lists of, of food um, nutrient uh, lists that people can look at. But taking a supplement in the case of clinical deficiency, I really think is the way is the way to go. Foods are just not reliable. And okay. if a person uh, is diet, Terry Log shows they've had enough vitamin D, they need to rely on a supplement. Fantastic. All right. Thank you. Thank you.